health care workers are at risk when treating patients hospitalized with COVID-19. N95 face masks combined with face shields provide protection. And so does this. It's a high quality particulate matter sensor, modified to be worn by Washington University physicians treating COVID-19 patients. The patient sneezes or coughs, they emit some particles and those particles generally have the COVID viruses inside them. In real time, it lets them know if there is a concentration of particles in a patient's room, which given the circumstances would likely be respiratory emissions, droplets and aerosols with COVID-19 viral particles. So I can see the data, whatever the sensor is reading on the dashboard. That can help me in measuring that this much amount of droplets were emitted and they might have virus in them. In the Center for Aerosol Science and Engineering at Washington University in St. Louis, graduate student Shruti Chaudhry is working on miniaturizing the sensors so they can be an added feature for N95 masks worn by healthcare workers. The physician is wearing a mask. I really want to know what's, ha what's happening inside that mask because that's what the physician is really inhaling. Pratim Biswas oversees the Aerosol and Air Quality Research Laboratory as principal investigator. So we want to really miniaturize this and put this sensor inside the mask to give me a real-time reading. If the mask is not operating efficiently, I will immediately get a signal. And uh, on the dashboard, there could be the manager there warning the individual, you need to come out and fix your mask. It works on the principle of light scattering. So I should be able to make that thing as small as possible. So this is, it's the circuitry for that. Using light scattering properties, she can miniaturize the sensor. That's part one. At what point will the sensor be able to tell you what type of nanoparticle is being detected if it is in fact COVID-19? That is a startup applied particle technology. So we are working with them to come up with the next generation design, which will answer this question quite precisely. You want to tell what fraction of them are the viral particles, the virus, and not only that, is the virus also active? Now with new developments, I can use multi-wavelength or multi-color lasers. Currently, I just use one color, it's a red laser. But if I use a blue and a green light laser, I'm getting additional scattering information, which I can use to figure out the type of particle that I'm measuring. And some of this is very complex mathematical algorithms uh, that have to be uh, developed and used. And that will enable us to then figure out what fraction of the particles are viruses.